Robert Fabian was a London draper, sheriff and alderman, and author of Fabian's Chronicle. Robert Fabian was the son of John Fabian and his wife, Agnes. He is said to have been born in London. He had a brother, John. His nephew, John Fabian, married Anne Waldegrave, by whom he had a daughter, Mary Fabian, wife of Sir Thomas Spurt. Mark of Richard Pinson, who printed Fabian's Chronicle he was apprenticed as a draper to William Holm about 1470, and was granted the freedom of the Worshipful Company of Drapers in 1476. In 1485 he served as Renter Warden of the Drapers, and in 1486 as Auditor of the Accounts of the City of London. In 1493 he was elected Sheriff, and in the following year as Alderman of the Ward of Farringdon without. In 1495 he was elected Master of the Drapers, and in 1496 was chosen to petition Henry VII on behalf of the company with respect to the levies on cloth exported from England to Flanders. During the Cornish Rebellion of 1497 Fabian, John Brooke and John Warner were charged with securing Ludgate and Newgate. After the suppression of the rebellion they travelled with the king to Woodstock. In 1498 he was one of the assessors of a subsidy levy to finance the war in Scotland. In 1501 he was again elected Master of the Drapers. In 1503 he resigned his office of alderman on the ground that he lacked the financial resources to support election as Lord Mayor. He is best known as the author of the work commonly known as Fabian's Chronicle, which presents parallel histories of England and France and covers the period from the arrival of the legendary Brutus of Troy in England to the death of Henry VII. Two manuscripts are extant. And although these are not in Fabian's hand, it is almost certain that the text is his. The Chronicle was initially printed without attribution by Richard Pinson in 1516 as the New Chronicles of England and France, but an edition of 1533 printed by William Rastel bore Fabian's name on the title page, Fabian's Chronicle newly printed. Both John Bale and John Stowe describe the Chronicle as Fabian's work, although according to McLaren, Stowe also wrongly attributes to him the manuscript of the Great Chronicle. Likely because both Fabian's Chronicle and the Great Chronicle are written in the same hand. A continuation in 1509 appears also to be attributable to Fabian, and includes events personally witnessed by him such as the arrest in 1468 of Thomas Cook. A prominent merchant in London, and the arrival in England in 1502 of three men, inhabitants of Newfoundland, whom the king kept a time after. Fabian was the first London chronicler to cite his sources, which included the Brute, Bede, William of Malmesbury, Ranulf Higdon, Henry of Huntingdon and numerous others, as well as records of the City of London. John Bale claimed that the 1516 edition was burned by Cardinal Wolsey. The second edition of 1533 was printed after Wolsey's death, and was followed by editions in 1542 and 1559. Henry Ellis edited a modern edition in 1811. Fabian was executor of the will of his father-in-law, and through his wife inherited a house called Halsteadies together with other lands in Thadengarnen, Essex. At his death he also owned tenements in the London parishes of St. Benet Fink and St. Michael's, Cornhill, as well as lands and tenements in East Ham, West Ham, Leighton and other towns in Essex. Stowe states that Fabian died in 1511, while Bale dates his death to February 25, 1512. Stowe also records that he was buried at St. Michael's Cornhill, where his monument is no longer extant although Stowe preserved the English part of his epitaph. In his will, proved July 12, 1513, he left bequest to his wife, his six surviving children, his cousin, Dorothy, and the mercer Robert Tate, Lord Mayor of London, among others. Fabian married Elizabeth Paik, daughter and heir of a London draper, John Paik, by Elizabeth Stocker, by whom he had sixteen children. Only six of whom, four sons, John, Robert, Thomas, and Anthony, and two daughters, Joan Harriot and Mary, were alive at his death. Ellis notes that a John Fabian, in his will dated March 16, 1541, mentions the Lady Spurt as his sister, and refers to the Earl of Southampton as his master. He also mentions another sister, Martha, to whom he bequeaths four nobles yearly, and the Lady Marnie, to whom he bequeaths his books of meditation and his chronicles. McLaren suggests that this might be the will of a grandson of Robert, however Baldwin's statement that Robert Fabian had a nephew, John Fabian whose daughter Mary married Sir Thomas Spurt, suggests that the 1541 will was the will of the son of Robert Fabian's nephew. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Cousin, John William. A short biographical dictionary of English literature. London, J. Indent and Sons, Leah Wickesource. 
Thanks for watching.